Hi, this is David Zone, and I'm here with former hockey great Dave Maloney. How you doing, Dave? Hi, Dave. You know, I've been sitting here for a while, and I just realized you and I have the same name. Yeah, yes, we do. We do have the same name, except you go by Dave and I go by David. It's interesting, isn't it? Well, I want to say hi to you, David. Well, hi, Dave. You, you know, you sound a little more smashed than usual tonight. Oh, well, I, I think your fumes are rubbing off on me, Dave. You see, that's not even a bad thing. I remember back in high school, and even in the, even in the NHL to a degree, when I made a mistake writing it on a piece of paper, all I had to do was breathe on it and it would just erase itself. That, that's very effective. You didn't have to waste money on uh, anything new or uh, buying any new erasers or anything. But uh, did you make a lot of mistakes in high school? I, I made a ton of mistakes in high school. And, and the biggest one was when I had to give CPR to somebody. Why did I bring them back to life? Well, I'm sure all the gin and whiskey really helped them. I bet it did. You know, something else here. I just realized that you and I have a mutual friend. Oh, oh do we, Dave? Who, who is that? That's very interesting that I have a mutual friend with a hockey player. It, it just so happens that I'm sleeping with your girlfriend. Oh, oh, really? Well, I'm sorry, Dave, but she's actually my ex-girlfriend now. Yeah, you see, we use every, you're on TV, too. Every time you used to go on TV, I used to sneak on over to your house. And we used to watch you on TV. And I, I you have a wonderful us. Well, well, thank you for the compliment, though. But, but incidentally, you're out of scotch. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, maybe, maybe I'll start picking some up. And you know what, though? I'm not surprised she was sleeping with you. She does like the older men. Older? You watch your language, young boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. We do have a few decades apart from each other. Yeah, well... I'm the one here that's played ho hockey before. You haven't played hockey before, have you? Not, other than, not, not professionally other, like you, Dave. Other than in your street, I've played ha. ha <clears throat> I've played ha. <clears throat> Are your own fumes bothering you, Dave? I am the one that played hockey before. National Hockey League. I played in there for a long time. That's, yeah, a long time. Yes, you had. And most of your career you did spend with the New York Rangers. Yeah, that's the biggest mistake I ever made. Well, you did play one season with Buffalo. I forgot about that. Nobody remembers Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo's a. Uh... A pretty uh, downtown compared to uh, the big lights on Broadway, huh? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, Dave, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Dave, uh, when you were playing in New York, um, where did you live? Did you live in Manhattan? Did you enjoy all the nightlife? I don't really remember where I lived because every night I was waking up someplace new. Hey, it's an adventure, though, I guess. So that's uh, it's a plus for you. You got to spend night. I'm sure you spent many a night with beautiful women. Yeah, whatever. I I I, re I remember this guy I, I I used to drink with. I went to high school with him, don't you? And the guy was an idiot. He he couldn't speak Italian. And and I just I couldn't believe that one day he went up to our professori. And I speak Italian, okay, professori. Oh, I'm surprised you do. You're a Canadian who moved to New York. I guess you really wanted to get into the culture. Um, I really wanted to get into the culture. I would have learned how to speak Russian. That's but anyway, we, he went, he, would you believe this kid? He went over and he asked the Italian teacher if innuendo was the Italian word for preparation H. <laughs> Did you have a lot of characters like that in high school, Dave? No, I don't remember any of them. I wasn't too sober. Oh. Well, I know that... I don't even remember what that word means, mind you. 
I'm sure you haven't been sober for many years, Dave. Yeah, I uh, remember the last time. I, wh what am I talking about? I don't even remember what I'm talking about. That, that's that's all right, Dave. You're talking about your old high school years. But let's move on from this subject. You you do panel work for the New York Rangers. You do their radio show. How is that? How is that experience? Do you enjoy working for your former team? No. Oh, you don't. That's why I said no, idiot. <laughs> oh, Dave, I think you're getting a little aggressive. You need to uh, hold back on the scotch. Scotch? That was last night's drink. <laughs> oh, what's tonight's drink, Dave? I don't know. I haven't had a drink since breakfast. Who are you calling me a drunk? Wow, that's a long time for you. That must be a record. Yeah, I, I've been. They've been pumping me full of coffee. Oh, have they? For this, I, just for yeah, this interview. I, I, I just. I, the only reason I'm talking to you now is because I. I still have to get a little drink, calm my nerves before I go to my my summer job that's ending this week. Oh, uh, what's your summer job, Dave? I'm an airline pilot. Oh, are you? Well, I guess drinking and airline pilots do mix together well. Yeah, I, I fly one of those big things, you know, with, with, with those other little things sticking out of the side. Uh, I believe they're called an airplane, Dave. Oh, you're a pilot too, are you? Yes. Uh, Learned from Alex Kovalev myself. Well, it beats the job I had last summer. What was your job last summer, Dave? I, I was a bus driver, but I, I had to quit. This. There were too many drunks on the road. Oh, were there? You didn't, uh, you didn't really like spending the, um, or sharing the road, I mean, with, uh, with uh, the like, I guess you could say. The what? The like. You didn't like spending uh, time on the road with uh, your own kind. With Irish? Yes, with Irish people, exactly. Well, they're not bad drivers. <laughs> I guess they share your drinking gene. You're, a, I, you're, I don't even know what to say to that. I feel insulted. I feel like I should insult you back. I don't take take a shot, Dave. Take a shot. Oh boy, I, about time somebody said that. It's my treat. All your rounds around the house, Dave. Thank you. You're very welcome. I, I like to drink in the house, not on it. That'd be uncomfortable. That's true. You might uh, might injure yourself. Might get stuck in a chimney or something. Uh, I ain't. I ain't no Santa Claus. You drink as much as him now. I don't drink milk. What the, what the heck's wrong with you? Uh, Santa's a Santa's a well-known drunk, Dave. Yeah, this is the first time I'm hearing about about it. Well, I'm not surprised it hasn't exactly been in this world in the past 20 years. 30. 30. Oh, for 30 years. Thank you for the correction, Dave. So, um, to move on, did you enjoy playing with your brother in New York? Nah, that son of a bitch. I shouldn't speak ill of him on the air. It'll be our little secret. Okay, uh, I'll make sure to edit that out, Dave. Yeah, you didn't do that. Are you are you proud of his success as a general manager, though? No, I'm jealous as all hell. Well, I'm sure the Rangers would have offered you a position had you have uh, sobered up for the interview. Nah, Glenn drinks more than I do. How else could you give Scott Gomez a seven-year contract? That's very true, and and Wade Redden a six-year one. Oh, I forgot about him. I wasn't been drinking more than usual tonight. It sounds very much like you have been, Dave. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess I should let you go, though. I'm sure you have a very busy schedule. I know you have to go out drinking tonight. So uh, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks. I got an airline to fly. It's to fly. <coughs> Excuse me. That's okay. Have in fun. Fact, in fact, the plane is scheduled to leave in, oh, boy, an hour and a half ago. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Goodbye, Dave. Hello out there, we're on the air, it's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down.